Believe it or not, this conference originated as my attempt at a storytelling workshop. This is our fourth annual conference, and I really wanted it to be about water because I think it encompasses all the areas of the curriculum and all areas of human concern on the planet. I was really thrilled to have both the Water Brothers here. They're very dynamic and obviously very kind of global, globally trained and aware. And I was really happy also that Zigwin was here because she brought that Indigenous perspective on the land. Well, we were really excited to come to the STEAM conference because this year's theme is all about water. Uh, and as Al was mentioning, water connects to everything, all life on the planet, all the challenges we face, but also the solutions, uh, whether that be engineering, mathematical, uh, science, technology, arts, water touches on every aspect of our lives. Uh, and so we think it's a great conference to come to to speak to students uh, and show them all the ways that we're connected to water, the challenges we face, and really what we can do to help overcome these really big global challenges. So today I was able to present um, to the STEAM conference here and I presented a keynote address about gifts and responsibility, specifically talking about Indigenous worldviews when talking about water and sustainability and how every single person has gifts and it's our responsibility to use those gifts to better the community around us and to help protect our future for tomorrow. So in the presentation, um, I talked about uh, what engineers do and how we help um, people in society and specifically um, how to problem solve some of the world's problems related to water. And then we did an activity where all the kids uh, ran, uh, had to build a water filter to try to filter some dirty water that I made for them. Um, I thought it was a really cool experience uh, doing experiments. Well, I learned uh, a lot about water, and so like when I was learning about the lakes and like Ontario and why we should save marine life that live there. The keynote speakers were very informative and interesting and I learned that we're in a more dire situation than I expected it to be, but I also learned that there are many ways to help that situation and progress, uh, really just further our chances of survival and not, um, uh, and not wasting all the water and getting rid of it quickly. Uh, their presentation was really cool. Um, I think their show is great. I think it's cool what they do, how they have fun while also teaching uh, civilians how to do it in their everyday lives, right? And to not like litter and all that. I usually do this, but maybe I could like look out for people and see if they're littering or not. And so I could like stop them from littering. Um, the suggestions uh, that they gave me were very good, the cricket thing and the taking shorter showers and the tap water and just don't waste water because it wastes electricity. Uh, I think that I should start doing that and that's what I learned from today's conference, yes. I, I think the, the reaction today has been really positive. The kids all seem to have had a really good experience. They've enjoyed the workshops. I see them, you know, singing and dancing and talking really excitedly, being really engaged in all the activities and learning things in the process and that's I think what every teacher wants. I thought that it was an amazing conference this year and why I'm thinking about it is because it's great to get kids interested in these subjects like science and technology and the arts as well so that when they grow up they can have great jobs in the field and make a difference in other people's lives as a result. We need technical people to help us solve some of those issues in math and science and seeing the connection between um, uh, some of the problems in the world and how we may be able to solve them is important to see and I think what you've brought here with the STEAM conference is to bring some of that, that to real life instead of just being in books. For me, one of the things that really uh, spoke to how 
amazing of a conference was, this was, was that there were multiple students who came in sharing their own stories. It wasn't just a lecture series or people just talking to them about something that they didn't know. It was them coming with their own stories and having them interact with our own teachings and that was incredibly important for me. I think, it's, uh, I think conferences like STEAM are really important because it's bringing together a lot of different experts. Um, you know, we were speaking, but there's all sorts of workshops going, going on uh, with experts in many different fields uh, related to water. Um, and so there's a lot that the kids can take away from days like this. We have to make solutions to environmental problems um, part of all those different fields. And so yeah, today's a really great day to sort of bring all these different ideas together and, and hopefully inspire youth to, um, to make these solutions part of their daily lives.